Hello and welcome back to Transport Fever. So last time we finished off the main line and set some trains off running on it. It's one of them now, which you will be empty. It's empty. That one's also empty. That one's also empty. There's the express, which is also empty. So, I mean, it's going well. It's currently losing money. Now, the other thing I thought of at the end of the episode was we've got this station over here for the main line, which is very busy. It's 100 people waiting at it to head out to Framlingham and St Ives and Wokingham. It's the other side of town to Ultrincham West for the actual main line. So why don't I extend that line across town? So I'm thinking we'll put some perpendicular underground platforms here. So I need to raise this land up so there's a bit of space for them to start with. And the same on this side for that matter. And then smooth it out a bit so that it doesn't look ridiculous. And then if I upgrade the station I can add two underground platforms at a rotation of eight. Apply. They, they exist now. I'm thinking it'll carry on the line so I'll probably take it down to Darwin. Or something. Now that's starting off with a train alignment collision, which means we need to raise this train a bit more. Uh, the fact that it's struggling means it's probably got the end of the tunnel right there, hasn't it? So it's already decided it wants to put the tunnel portal there and won't let me do anything else with it. Which is irritating, to say the least. So I probably need to remove the underground platforms to fix that. Uh, raise this land a little. smooth it out a bit and then put the underground platforms back in um, down here now the other problem is how to get them across town by that I'm going to end up having to go through this road probably somewhat like this. I'm not happy about the look of that crossing. Um, see, the nightmare of a railway builder is always the roads, not the tracks. The railways themselves are fine. Uh, this will need upgrading, and by upgrading I mean completely rebuilding, because it needs to be two tracks. Uh, no, no passing. 160, I don't actually know how long they have been previously. 160. Uh, good to know. Probably want it curving in the other direction. Somewhat like that. And bring this track around. This is going to be interesting to do, isn't it? I don't think I'm going to be keeping up the speed limit. Maybe I am if I do that. And then rebuild this track. That uh, road, sorry. It's got quite the slope it's going down to get into this tunnel. 
that's fine. Then I've got to completely redo this section. And obviously for now it's only one track, so I'm going to need a crossover. Um, did I use coloured light signals? I did. Good. And the exit signal there. Um, that's good. Then the route here comes into Orchardshire, goes through to Orchardshire West, back to Orchardshire. And the ATW. And that should be fine, that should be everything sorted. I'll start smooth off this tunnel entrance a little bit. And hopefully a train will turn up at some point and we'll be able to ride it into the new tunnel. There's one here now. Oh, these, oh yeah, I forgot these are flight Scotsmans, aren't they? Many threes. Not got the best coaches. Should probably be upgrading that. Um, we'll do that in a minute. Ride the train into the tunnel first. So as we round the... Oh, that's them. I call it a bit tight, but I remember. But okay. It's like we take this route 49 for the majority of its length. Which isn't brilliant, but so these two interstations are a bit fast, but I'll just slow down. And into Ultrachim. And then we cross town to Ultrachim West. Which is over here. They were a bit clippy through the terrain there, but that's just because I've not finished the tunnel. Now then, your route. Replacement. I want to replace the vehicles with Fire Scotsman. Calling these. Um, whenever they reach their lifetime, they'll replace now. So, St. Ives, everyone's just told to head south from St. Ives. Working well, should be working pretty well, yeah, I've got 140 rating for each line. That's proved to be an effective interchange station. There comes one in now, full. We'll see where the 85 people that get off go. Will they go over to the other route? Doesn't look like it. It's like they all got off rather than interchanging. Well, I mean, that's just as good. Maybe they all want to go to Wimble Minster. I'm not going to deny them that. Um, right, so I, the main thing to consider now is what else can I do? I can make planks, but I don't know where I'd take the planks. Oh, road vehicles have reached their lifetime. Uh, we will replace you with local blitz. Oh. Right, local blitz. Okay, on. Oh. Yeah, I'm working on it. Okay. Let's. That replacement is already on. Uh. 
Oh, this is... Proving messy. I've probably got most of the routes at this point. So you. Opal Blitz on. Opal Blitz on. And uh, there's some more. You. Opal Blitz on. You. Opal Blitz on. Uh, probably going to end up with a wave of costs there. Which is unfortunate. There's not a lot I can do about it. Um, so yeah, as I was saying, I can make planks. If I use planks, I also need plastics. I can make plastics over here, actually. I can take the wheat from there to here. I'd need some oil. Where can I get crude oil from? Ah, oh, here. If I make a train line, a freight line that goes like that, now I'm excited to do. We'll start off by setting up a hub over here. So we'll have a freight train that can come in. I just need the one track. I should probably want the two. And then also a truck depot stop thing when auto save is finished. Hello, trucks. To start with, we're going to need um, paint and wheat to plastic. Is explanatory. And some road vehicles for that. Uh, the freight line will obviously come out here and we'll probably split it one up to the oil and one down to the, down to the goods <laughs> both goods for that matter would be good to deal with And actually, it looks like I'm going to be producing planks over here as well. So... What I might do... Is... Set up a truck from up from down here to up here this will be quite a short truck uh, Wokingham wood which will then get a couple of opal blitzes Um, I need one train bringing the oil in. I need proper oil, not crude oil. So I can bring it in from down here. Or from down here. Uh, I asked to produce oil. 
anywhere? Not really. I guess I have to get in from over here then. Oh, I've not exactly got a backlog. Uh, just the one platform. And probably don't need to double track it. I will. I work out I'm going to be taking this. So the oil needs to go over here. Plastics need to come back to the goods. Along with the planks from there. So I need two platforms at the goods depot. that will head into the mountain which isn't my deal but that's what's going to happen um. I just want to cross over the works. Maybe if I go flat into the mountain. Under the mountain. Never cross over. I get a bit higher than I initially intended, but that's fine. Um, and one line goes down here, and one line goes up there. So my theory is, I could bring a line this way and align this way and this one is going to head down a very ex expensive bridge extremely expensive, it's very high up Okay, retrospectively, new idea. I'm going to put a railway spiral. Maybe 40 was a bit high for the minimum speed limit around this spiral. But that's fine. It's done. Put 
Bring it round. And down. And we're gonna bring our own line, another line through here. Which I'd like to get over that. And if at all possible, just in a cutting. And that's the line coming down from they're coming up, I guess, technically, from the oil up there. So I'll come through here. This network is becoming more complicated by the minute. Realistically, I think I'm going to have to end the video here and we'll come back to it next time. So, thanks for watching and see you next time.